Hello guys and uh, welcome into a new video on my uh, fashion uh, unboxing channel. It's an honor and a pleasure for me to bring you uh, this time again um, a review and uh, unboxing of um, an awesome Timberland uh, pair of boots. This time uh, we will have uh, a man's uh, boots, the uh, Timberland AF 6 inch uh, premium uh, black boots. This is the uh, uh, package in which they uh, came. On the front we have the uh, Timberland logo with the registered uh, mark. On this side it says Timberland with the logo. On this side again as well. <clears throat> and right here we have uh, the uh, information. So the uh, coat is uh, TB. 010073 6 inch premium boot uh, men's uh, or arm we also see the uh, US size 8.5 the uh, naming in the left side Timberland premium 6 inch waterproof boot black new book the uh, Europe uh, size is 42, uh, which uh, is equivalent to 26 um, and a half centimeters, and all the other uh, sizes from uh, uh, Mexico, Japan, uh, Brazil, France, and uh, UK, and of course uh, China, I think, or Canada, uh, but I think it's China. Um, also here we have uh, another sticker with uh, the uh, barcodes and the, the size which is really nice when the, uh, there are so many uh, fakes on the market. Let's open the box. Right here on this side we have this sticker which uh, guarantees the uh, insulation and the waterproof since 1973 so keep this in mind and this is how they look they are really uh, brand new you have that very nice smell of uh, a pair of un worn boots uh, and uh, a brand new product. They are wrapped up individually in the uh, Timberland uh, bags. Let's take them out. So this is how they look. It's basically a single bag. And nothing else. Um, what I didn't like from the beginning was uh, here. But I, uh, I guess... Uh, they they look a bit worn right here like they would have been touched or something but other than that um, maybe it's just uh, let's say it's, it's just me here also uh, 
you can see they have this uh, these parts where it looks like they were touched or rubbed against something but maybe it's just the way things are with a uh, a nice brush uh, I should be able to take that out but yeah you can already it's like it's not there so uh, that f the first uh, impression they were clearly not uh, worn by anyone so there are no marks no particular marks right here that would uh, show a uh, were uh, wearing thing but yeah this is not what I was expected let me know in the comment section below if uh, these uh, marks are uh, uh, normal let's see what we have inside so we have this uh, uh, leather tag which uh, guarantees the uh, waterproof you can see like this Also inside we have uh, this to uh, keep them uh, all nice and uh, stretched. They clearly weren't uh, wearing at all. Shoes inspected by 14 <laughs> and there is nothing but this is a first okay so let's untie them and open them up to see better the uh, insole So inside right here we have the um, this writing, the size and the uh, genuine leather upper, leather and man-made linings and man-made outsole. made in Bangladesh men's and on this side in the um, uh, right side we have the uh, uh, Prima Loft technology 400 gram and the uh, Timberland logo with uh, the writings in uh, uh, gold and uh, the uh, logo uh, with uh, green stitching also on the inside this is how the insole looks the Timberland logo right there all perfectly aligned and another uh, sticker right there which uh, shows uh, how they are from uh, uh, genuine leather made they really look amazing and I must say that this is uh, my first uh, pair of Timberlands being for men 
you can see the previous uh, um, ones I've uh, reviewed, they were all women. Now this is how they uh, look uh, closer, the uh, stitching, you can see it's really flawless, all perfect and um, everything is uh, as it should be without any inconsistencies from one side to uh, another. This is how they look from the front. They have a really uh, stylish look to them, so uh, uh, you don't get that, uh, um, let's say, uh, really wide uh, aspect or uh, a bulky one. They're really amazing. Also, the uh, outsole. We have the Timberland logo right there. So this is in the heel and just a bit up right there. So it's really perfect aligned. This is how the upper part looks with the cushion. I can't uh, wait to put them in my feet and uh, I really hope the, uh, the size will be perfect. But yeah, this is how you can expect them to uh, to look. They are really um, the best uh, boots you could purchase, especially for uh, the uh, spring, autumn, and uh, even for the winter uh, season. I will also use uh, for them uh, this product, uh, which is the ultimate rain and stain resistant uh, barrier, the Crep Protect Spray, uh, which will uh, uh, keep them uh, not only waterproof, because they are already like that, but they uh, it will keep them uh, stain free. So no dirt, uh, no, uh, no stain will uh, remain on the boots because if you don't use such a product um, from what I've seen this uh, is actually the, the one of the best if not the best spray you can use for uh, your, uh, your footwear to uh, keep them uh, nice and clean especially uh, you can imagine on the rainy days. Um, although they are waterproofed, the um, uh, dirt will get um, on them um, on, uh, let's say, over time. Uh, this spray is uh, really easy to apply and uh, you will only have to um, uh, apply one coat um, on, uh, on the boots and uh, wait for 10 minutes for uh, the spray to uh, dry off and then, uh, then apply a second coat and again wait for another 10 minutes. If you would like to purchase uh, these boots or any other uh, Timberland products I've uh, reviewed in the past and uh, this uh, really amazing uh, uh, protection uh, spray 
uh, which I will demonstrate in this video further on. I will be grateful to you if you'll uh, use the Amazon links found in the description of the video as well as in the comment section below. There you will be able to uh, find all of them and I will be eternally grateful to you uh, for helping me to bring you more reviews like this one. Um, without any further ado now, I will uh, uh, go and show you how to uh, um, basically make them uh, stain free and uh, after that I will also uh, show you at the end of the video how they look uh, when you uh, actually wear them in, in my feet so you can have a better understanding of uh, how uh, nice and cool they are. Also another shot guys uh, with them from this side because I uh, saw it just after untying uh, completely the shoelaces you can see right here how they look when you uh, open them up like this they are really amazing and will uh, really protect you for, from any rain or, uh, or snow so this is how they have to look. You don't get this cut all of the way down here. Really amazing. Let's see now how uh, we need to apply uh, the uh, Crep Protect Spray.
this product is amazing and the boots also Thank you so much for watching, I wish you all the best and I'll catch you in the next one.